let's talk about design today for something for something that I think gets under talked about, and that's not doing things. Um, so often when you start a project, you just have this whole mass of things. Oh my God, you could do everything. You know, what is simple interaction of the, do you have aim down sight? Yeah, modern games normally have that. Do you have sliding like this, right? So many things, so many things. And then as you're looking at those, you're looking at like, what's gonna be a problem? What's gonna be easy? What's gonna be hard? And how can we just solve a design issue before we even get to it? Like why even jump into something if we can just avoid it? And so here, I, one of my favorite games, I've, I've said it before, is Tom Clancy Wildlands. It's my kind of um, comfort food. I'll play it uh, again and again, kind of just does not even really playing it, just kind of relax playing it. So here I am, I'm flying in a helicopter, a little southern village. I ignore that I, I, I'm bad at flying helicopters, whatever. But hey, look, there's a little uh, building here. Um, oh, can't go in there. Let's go, here we go over here. Uh, it's a prison. I got bathrooms, that's, that's progressive. Uh, but you know, we're just gonna wander around in here, uh, kind of checking this little place out. And then, well, all right, this looks like a prison. Yeah, it's a prison, can't go in there. Let's, um, let's, and this is one of those, as, I, as, I'm, as I'm saying this, you're probably dawning on you because you're smarter than me, but I had to come back and play it because I was thinking about this problem in another setting and I did not have this in my head and it wasn't until I came back and I played it that I really noticed it. You know, look, we can come in here, you know, kind of check this stuff out. And again, you know, well, let's, let's go upstairs here inside this building. Well, we can't go in there. Um... Yeah, all right, let's go, let's just, let's just leave this building. And again, you know, it's it's set in Bolivia. Though you fight Mexicans, it's confusing that part. We know which, you know, saw the buildings there, but I bet you knew which buildings you'd go into or not, right? Um, Okay, we're frozen tundra. This is cold. Look at this. It's not even heavy snow, it's so cold. This is like the tundra. This is in the mountains. Uh, and so we're just going to pull up this little village. It looks pretty deserted from the outside at first, but then we're going to come up and, uh, yeah, again, ignore my driving. But look, they got some fires burning. They're trying to keep warm. They're trying to keep warm. So we're just going to come in here. We're going to kind of gonna grab our little weapon case because I still wanted to get this weapon case. This is a shotgun muzzle suppressor. Yeah, that doesn't exist. But okay, whatever. Uh, all right, but we're just wandering around looking for some more stuff. And man, we can't get in over there. So what is going on with this building? What is going on with this town? What is the thing that I am too stupid to recognize at first? Doors. You never open doors in this game, ever, ever. Well, except once. Um, and they have elevators, they don't have elevators because elevators are doors. One of the design things you're gonna learn at some point in your life is elevators and doors are the same thing. Uh, but doors, they have no doors. You just never open a door. It's either a closed door and you cannot go that way. Um, I mean, occasionally there'll be something like a, a lock on a door and you could break that lock, clearly signaling that door just springs open, but you don't open it. Like you don't hand open it, you never go. Cause I was wondering, wait, what was the use to open a door? Like they have no inventory you, you, in the sense of like, you can't go through an inventory. It's all just represented in UI. And they have no door opening. Now there's one door you open and there's certain huts and I already solved all models, so I'm not gonna go find one, where inside are like a bunch of goodies and you have to open it and there's this big animation opening it. But they just solved the problem of how do we deal with doors in our video game and what that means. They're just like, let's just remove the doors. Let's just not even worry about that. Let's not worry about if they've got a gun out. Let's not worry about how we're going to traverse it for the AI. Do AIs open doors? Do they close doors after them? Like, do they get bottled up inside? Can you trap an AI inside by closing the door? Can they break down the door? Like there's this right, there's a whole design space around doors, and then you could you could go read. Um, I'll see if I can find it. There's some good posts about doors and just actually doorways even of the complication of the design around them. But I mean, this is a great example of they just decided doors aren't going to be a thing in our game, and so we never have to tackle these design problems. The game will just work around it. And the same with elevators. You you walk up and down stairs all the time because the elevators never work. Because elevators are doors, right? I think they lift up. It's the same same thing. Almost every game I've ever played, the elevators are just simply doors repurposed. Uh, and so they just decided to save themselves a bunch of hassle of having a design problem around doors. And that is genius because you don't notice it. I mean, did you notice it when we're in the freezing cold? I mean, maybe because I'm kind of calling it out, but like we're in freezing cold, we're in the mountains, we're in snow. 
and I'm just moving through the place and I'm not really thinking about like, well, geez, aren't these people cold in here? They start these fires outside. They should probably maybe just close the door and that would help warm up the house a little better. But no, I mean, our brains are really good at adapting and saying, this is the world we live in. This is the set of rules around it. And if those set of rules are not so egregious that we push back on them, our brain just accepts them. And I think this is a really great example of they just removed the door problem from their design space entirely, saving them, I probably saved them a month of development. I am not kidding. Doors, doors and the door questions you can have around doors are immense. And they just said, yeah, no, let's not have doors. Man, hats off. Hats off. And if you think, well, those are doors, they're just closed doors. No, those are called walls.